This is a Visio 2010 uh, line and space shapes tutorial. I'm going to start here by uh, going to a blank sheet. And um, there's a number of different ways of doing aligning in space. I'm going to start out by looking at some of the things that uh, we can do before we actually uh, draw the sh shapes. You go to the view menu. And some of the useful things here for aligning shapes are turn on a ruler so you can see where things are. Uh, I really like to work with a grid. It really helps in terms of locating things. The other things uh, that may be used would be guides, which can be turned on. And um, you know, so what the grid look like with the guides work is you go up to the ruler and you can just drag down a guide and then uh, shapes can be aligned with that guide. And you can just hit delete with that guide selected and uh, get rid of it if you don't need it. Uh, we're going to look at um, doing some uh, type of drawing now uh, in terms of using uh, aligning shapes and things like that. Typically, this is most used when you're doing a drawing that uh, is not a precise engineering drawing for construction or something where measurements aren't critical. So we're going to start out here by uh, doing a uh, screw terminal board. Uh, take a look at... Uh, just draw some shapes here. And so maybe this is the terminal block right here. And we're going to want to put some screws in here. So we're going to draw some screws about like that. Now these are going to be Phillips head screws. So I'm going to put some lines. It's a little heavier. Do it again. And apply it to this one. And now I'm going to start doing some uh, alignment here. I'm going to select these two items, go to the position menu, and I'm going to choose to align them center. And then just to make sure. Align in the middle, so that puts them together. Then I'm going to I'm going to group these so that they stay aligned. Then I'm going to take this and put it over here. Select this, and now the group is going to be uh, centered along with the circle. And again, go to position, align center and align the middle. So there's my uh, Phillips head screw. I'm going to take that and give it some fill. And then take this whole assembly and group it. Now I'm going to put a number of these screws on a uh, terminal block. So I want to take a uh, number of these screws and put them on my terminal block here. So I'm going to copy, copy, and I think I need six screws on here. So I'm going to copy those. As you can see, they're not too uh, evenly spaced. I'm holding down the control key to do that copy. So what I'm going to do is uh, select these items and go to the position menu and you can go to spacing shapes and I'm going to distribute them horizontally and that gets them absolutely evenly spaced and then I'm going to go and align this in the middle of them so that they're all they all line up and I'm going to take these and I'm going to group them now, I'm not sure I'm exactly in the middle of the terminal strip, but since they're a group, now I can go and align center and align middle, and now I've got them lined up uh, perfectly in the terminal strip. And I'm going to put some fill on that strip. And 
Then I'm going to uh, a little bit and um, just say that I want to put a maybe this is on a box or a panel. So I'm going to go and draw another shape here. Right click, send that to the back so I can see my terminal strip. And I'm going to take the terminal strip and group it. Then select it along the box and again center and middle. And put some fill in the box. And now uh, I might do something like adding some wires to this if I was doing a diagram for some wiring. And to wherever else I'm going to be putting these wires. Maybe one of those uh, lines becomes a uh, blue wire. One of them becomes a red wire. And uh, I mean, it looks too good in the screw terminals. So I will go back and ungroup this stuff here. And now I'm going to select everything in this group, hold down the control key and deselect the terminal block. Now right click and bring all these screws to the front and I'm going to group that terminal strip back together. And then if I uh, look at this and realize, you know, I was going from left to right and I should have gone from right to left, then I might take this whole assembly, group it, and go to the position and alignment down here to orienting shapes and actually flip horizontal. So this is what we were like. Started with black on the left and when we flip horizontal it just turns the whole thing in a mirror image of the way that it was. I'm going to take this whole thing and center a little better. Now here I'm looking at the top uh, ruler and I can see the center of the shape and the line there that shows me I'm at the five and a half inch mark on this 11 inch sheet of paper. And um, that is a uh, way of using spacing and alignment tools in Visio to produce a fairly quick drawing that looks uh, decent. It's not an engineering drawing, measurements are inaccurate, but still useful uh, for uh, some types of diagrams. For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.